Bosch dishwasher error E23, E24 or E25 may mean the drain pump is blocked or the drain cover is missing or there is a clogged filter or a blocked drain hose. Let us remove the drain pump cover. This is the drain pump cover. We can see that the dishwasher is not draining properly. Here I am spinning the impeller of the drain pump. I am feeling the drain pump impeller for obstructions. Sometimes food waste bypasses the filters and stop the impeller from spinning. You could try some compressed air to see if there is a blockage in the pipe that feeds to the plumbing under the sink. You can even remove the hose that connects under the sink and use suction through that pipe. If you do not find any obstructions you may need to remove the drain pump. Remove the filters. Remove the water in the dishwasher. Here I am using a suction pump. If you do not have a suction pump, use a cloth or cups to remove the water. We need the water removed when the pump is taken out. Turn off the power to the dishwasher. This part of the video will show you how the drain cover fits over the drain pump impeller. The white thing with the cone shape is the drain pump impeller. This will give you an idea of how the drain pump cover is removed and installed. The cover sits in place and then is clicked into place. It prevents large pieces of debris going directly into the impeller. If this cover comes off you can still get the E25 error. If you remove the drain cover and field debris blocking the impeller, that may fix the error code. If clearing the drain cover and checking the impeller does not fix the error code, we go to the next step. Put some tape around the control panel. The tape will prevent the control panel falling down when the screws are loosened. Use a security Torx bit to remove screws. Loosen the screws around the control panel. The top screws are loosened and the door panel screws are completely removed. We want the control panel screws loosened so the door panel can come out easily. With built-in dishwashers, you may need to remove drawers and the kick panel to access the unit. Here I had to take out the kick panel including the silicone sealant at the floor joint. Remove the two screws holding the cover plate. Remove the insulation foam. There we see the pump drain motor. Once again, make sure the area is quite dry before the pump is removed. Detach the wires from the clip.
press in the release tab at the front of the pump drain motor, that's near the water side. Let us show you the pump in detail. This is the locking catch that you are pressing in. Press the tab in and turn the drain pump clockwise to remove it. There is not a lot of room. Press the tab in and turn the drain pump clockwise. Once the drain pump has been turned enough, it can be pulled backwards. The side of the pump has a wire connector that needs to be unplugged as well. Once I found a rubber band that had bypassed the filters and wrapped around the impeller. This is the rubber band which had entangled the impeller shaft. This was reinstalled and the dishwasher worked for a small amount of time. The E25 error came back and there was even a dreaded E01 code. The E01 code indicates board failure but this went away when I installed a new drain pump. On the left we have the new drain pump and on the right this is the original drain pump. Spinning the impellers shows no difference. Both drain pumps feel the same. The E25 error, when there is no blockage, indicates a drain pump problem. Some silicone oil is used to lubricate the O-ring before the pump is installed. Work out which areas line up where before you fit the new pump. So this tab of the pump lines up with the outer locking tab here. There is not much room to fit the new pump and the space is tight. Once past the locking tabs you can rotate the new pump anti-clockwise into place. Put the wires back into the clip. Reinsert the wiring plug of the drain pump motor. Put that in later. Securely reinstall the drain pump cover. Remember if this is not installed securely, the E25 error code could show again. This video shows the light shining through the drain pump impeller. There's a light. When reinstalling the front door panel, it slips up and under the control panel. The upper screws need to be loosened to install the lower panel. These spaces inside the door panel need to be in the correct place and the door almost needs to be horizontal when the panel is inserted. The loose control panel held on with tape will help a lot with installation. Reinstall the filters after they are cleaned. Make sure to turn the power back on. Make sure the dishwasher starts and there are no error codes. Start loading the dishwasher with the dirty dishes that have accumulated since the dishwasher broke down. Thanks for watching!